Hi guys, my name is Vinod. I am working as a software engineer. Uh, this video tutorial, I am going to talk about uh, Microsoft Recognizer Text APIs. So, what is it, and uh, what are the types available? We can learn here. So, this uh, tutorial divided into five part. First one, we talk about what is Microsoft Recognizer Text APIs and uh, subtypes. Later on tutorial, we'll see one by one in more detail about that. Okay, let's start. So what is Recognizer Text APIs? Actually, it's provide a robust recognition and a resolution of entities like uh, numbers, units, and date time and express in multiple language. Let's make it simple. If you give any uh, set of text, okay, in the text, this API find that what are the entities available in that particular text. Maybe it's numbers, maybe number or mobile number or temperature, whatever it is, and uh, any other things in its uh, centimeter, something like that. Age is a, it's on a, also one of the age uh, in its. So date and time, like that. If any entity find it in the text this api will return it hey i found uh, numbers for this one or uh, units for this one like that it will tell right now this api full support of uh, these are the languages uh, chinese english french spanish Portuguese, and german so these are the language full support so uh, it's all the api will support of these languages Partial support, uh, that means uh, some of the API is available for this language. Uh, 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 pending API is still uh, Microsoft working on that. So that means the partial support, Dutch, Japanese, Korean, Italian, and Turkish, okay? So uh, this API is available in the some of the um, areas like, uh, like Louis model and bot framework. So it's pre-built, it's available already. Okay, uh, we'll see the samples. Uh, and this mainly the basic entity types actually is a text analysis cognitive service. Okay. And this is available in standalone package also. So you, you don't want to, I want to use this one in uh, some other applications. Like I'm not using Lewis model and bot framework, but I'm interested to use this API in one of my application. Yeah, you can use it. So that's the reason uh, they made is a standalone package also. And next, yeah, these are the types of APIs. So it's divided into five category. Uh, still some of the uh, things are adding, keep on. But these are right now five different categories, okay. First one is number with init and number sequence date and time choice okay this number and unit divided into some subcategories age currency dimension temperature that means if you give any text so this api number with unit type will find what are the entities available for the particular text for example i am 18 years old so this entity will return hey i find the age 18 unit is the age so it will return like that. Uh, currency, return the currency type. If you mention, uh, I have 1 million euro or 1 million dollar. So it will return uh, currency is 1 million. Uh, you need with uh, like a euro or dollar, something like that. It will return. And uh, dimension, we will see one by one later the temperature also uh, uh, if you say uh, 18 degrees celsius it will return 18 degree uh, unit is the temperature sorry celsius it's, it's like it will return so next one is a number type uh, so this also divided into three categories actually this number with type the complete sentence number with the type how we uh, here we are called as number with unit the same way here we called as number with type so number ordinal number percentage written and this is a sequence 
these are the different categories available here if you if you find that uh, any phone number in the text or email address or ip address url uh, gad hashtag mention model if anything found the text it will return using this api we can find uh, some of the things and the date and time of course it's very clear on that if any date and time it's present in the text format or in the number format this guy will return in any find uh, date and time here this api and choice api is a let's like a, that means it's a confirmation for example yep, it's okay for me so uh, this is confirmed like the user has agreed yes true no i am not interested to do this so it's uh, this user not accepted user not interested to go further on that so that means it will run false so this choice api will return only bool value whether true or okay based on the sentence what user has, has expressed based on the it will return we'll see one by one in uh, number with init one tutorial number one tutorial sequence one tutorial and date and time choice is one tutorial okay so supporting languages right now this api is supporting these are the languages available c sharp you can download this package nuget or typescript npm package available python py py pip just pip package and java is still in progress okay so right now four languages supporting one is in progress and the python is a preview method two are released okay so this uh, this tutorial we are going to use this api in python language okay uh, uh, c sharp typescript and java also available but i am i am more interested to uh, use this api in python language so all my samples and uh, complete package used in the python language okay so id before start uh, typing the program before implement sample program uh, i am using visual studio code uh, latest visual studio code version 1.3.9.2 you can use a uh, upgrade one also and using languages python version 3 and above you cannot use this package in 2. Uh, python 2.0 it should be above 3.7 okay uh, that's all this tutorial next tutorial we will talk about one one by one what is number with unit how to use it with a sample text we will get the uh, we'll give the input this api will return the output okay Stay tuned. Thanks for all. Bye.